Yeah, Fox 13 investigative reporter Adam Herbet shows us how a phone call warning you about jury duty is a lot less realistic than it sounds. The caller ID says Unified Police Department. It all made sense, to be quite honest. And the quote unquote officer on the other line even gives out his badge number. I forget the name that he used, but it was, you know, hindsight's 2020. But it, I think it was like Lieutenant Dan from like Forrest Gump. He brought up his commanders and the sheriff. But still, Chad Schaefer wasn't convinced he could possibly owe thousands of dollars. For a jury duty notice, he never got in the mail. But then I just kept asking questions and he was giving me answers. And they, the answers made sense to me, to be quite honest. The fake cop was good. He even directed his victim to the UPD website for peace of mind. And told him not to come into the department because of COVID-19. As someone who spoke perfect English, you know, it was really relatable and was quite professional. So that's how the victim was persuaded to come to 7-Eleven and buy $5,700 worth of prepaid gift cards. He says on the back, it even said, these are often used for scams. And the officer, he honestly, he just laughed at me, <laughs> to be quite honest. My whole life savings is gone now. Sometimes they have a radio going in the background and it does sound real. Sheriff Rosie Rivera says these types of scams are very difficult to investigate and are especially common around the holidays. The best advice is to hang up and call the real police, especially because anything involving jury duty is usually sent by mail. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News.